Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 31 of my lower league management playthrough with Bath City. Here we have a couple more games, but our first game is away to the team that's first, Eastbourne Borough. But the thing is, I remember last season, we bet them fairly easily. I'm pretty sure, just my remembrance, they were a fairly easy team to beat. Like, I was just looking back a couple of videos that I uploaded before. Um, we beat them, actually. So it's like, I reckon we could still t stand a chance to beat them. Uh, if we did previously, but they could have a lot of new players, and obviously we have a new team as well. So we'll see how we fare against them. Go set up the team. Jermaine Church, who is going to remain as the goalkeeper. Of course, our two goalkeepers now are youth players, and that's how I've really saved on wages a little bit, because our team could be a lot worse, honestly. It could be a lot worse with the available wage budget we've had. So, yeah, we need these quality. We need these quality young players. And for future seasons as well, hopefully uh, we can. We might have to let a few players go, which is not ideal. But here, Career Gilbert, I left him out for quite a few games. I think it's time for him to come back in the team. Uh, McKenzie will come off and I'll just bring uh, Gallinar. Uh, he's played in centre-back a lot of times for me. So I'm confident in playing him in that position. Got to take up some subs here. We'll take them off, yeah, uh, because previous game, FA Cup against Bashley, we did get the win. So, you know, I'm happy we could to get to the first round. That's as good as I can do, I reckon. We got Preston. We could have got, like, maybe a bit more luck and get drawn against someone else, maybe in the Screw Premier, but I'm not going to complain. I did, yeah, I did my best, and if I won that 17K, it's not even a huge amount anyway. So it's like, I reckon we've done our best. Leave your thoughts anyway. I'm happy to get this far to the first round. It's more than my board was expecting, so that's always good, like to keep your job and all that good stuff. But anyway, uh, any other centre-backs that should be deserving of a start here, like that Stuart Jones. Yeah, I'll bring him on instead of Priest, and I'll move you to the left side because he can play left-back, so he's preferred to play that side. Adelsbury playing a centre-mid position. Mm, we don't have anyone that's 100% condition anyway, so... But I reckon Lamar Powell deserves a start. We'll take off McKenzie. Needs a little bit of a break, so... Um, yeah, we can go start this game here. Got Jacob Cleaver on the bench, the pacey striker we signed on a free transfer. He's made an impact in some games, scoring goals with 18 pace, but he's a bit lacking in the finishing department. But he is a dangerous player. Uh, let's just hard tackle some players here. Matt Johnson and Simon Johnson. And yeah, that's all really. And let's go into passionately and say I'm expecting... Oh, now nah, show everyone what you can do. You can't say you're expecting to win away from home against a team that's first. I don't think that's good, especially with a lot of young players in the team. You've got to be smart with your team talks. And that's the thing. You have to do different team talks judging on how your squad is sitting, like whether they be experienced players or if they're younger players. You have to change your team talks up in that way. Come here, Gilbert. He needs to make an impact. He's been really poor. Stern. Ooh. And yeah, this is really the point where I can push for a promotion place or just slip down into a mid-table. Like, if we can get some wins in a row, uh, we can really assure that position. Come on, Stern, just dribble past. Look at that. Oh, Gilbert. Ryder. Tolly. Tom Tolly scores yet another goal. Like, he could do it single-handedly, honestly. He's so good. Eight goal of the season. Uh, he hasn't been on fire as much as he was towards the end of last season when he was just playing on confidence as a young player. And now, I guess this season he was kind of shocked he would be the number one, the main striker, but he's doing the job now, and that's all I can ask for. Tolly finds Adelsbury, and he scores. That, I was confident. That's the thing. I was confident of beating Eastbourne because I did last season. I'm confident, and it's similar to last season. Adelsbury in there. Tolly gets an assist as well. Adelsbury, you know, his trademark shooting with power, and he does again, just low and powerful, and we're 2-0 ahead away from home, but got to be careful here. Got to be careful. Nah, we deserve to go 2-0 in. Not good. Not going to bother watching that replay. So here we'll go assertively and say, uh, we've got to guard against complacency now. Don't th No, that's see, that's what I was talking about before. I don't think that will be a good team talk for a lot a team with a lot of young players it might be good for the experienced players but nah what i've got to say here calm now passionately i'm pleased at how things are going you got to keep him happy because 
I know experienced players might get a bit of reaction, but younger players, I don't think they'll get a good reaction from that. That's just my thoughts anyway. So uh, with younger players, just praise them. That's the best way uh, with younger players. That's just my the first thing that comes to my head anyway. It might be reflected differently in the game, but who knows? And Churchill's been solid as a goalkeeper. As a young goalkeeper, it's always going to be hard for him to keep clean sheets regularly, but he's done good jobs. Oh, Williams again. This time, Brown! It's three. We get that goal back, and that's a bit better. We'll drop back to contain now, away from home, try and hold on to this. So, yeah, Brown scores his first of the season. He uh, comes in with the real experience, and he shows it there, uh, waiting for the rebound, and, yeah, he did get that. Crucial time here. We've got to defend this. No... Let's go back to attacking. I think we work... Yeah, we definitely need to work on defending set pieces. I've worked on attacking movement and attacking in the general training for quite some time. But that's just unlucky, isn't it? I think that's just unlucky. Bounce off the post and rebound it to their player. That's Yeah, what do you think of that goal anyway? I think that's just an unlucky goal to concede. Anyway, Williams is going to come off for Lamar Powell with some pace. Uh, Anthony Jack will come on for Stern. And the final sub of... Hmm, Tolly. Should I leave him on or George Byers? For now, nah, Adelsbury played well. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Bring on Byers, drop Adelsbury deep, and I'll leave Tolly on and not bring on Cleaver because yeah, Tolly scored. He can do it again. Anthony Jacks, I have faith in him. See that really works, and then no pressure on Byers, who's a younger player, and he gets relaxed. This is a bit better. So I move back to attacking now. See how we go. We'll see if we can score. Jack wins it back here in midfield. Byers to Ryder. Ryder finds Tolly and he finds the back of the net. He's just so clinical at these levels. Like, a lot of players I've noticed, like other strikers I've used, they wouldn't finish in that situation. They'll just miss it or hit it straight at the keeper. But, yeah, Tolly, he's going to be a superstar. He's going to be, like I said in the previous episode, I remember saying it, he's going to be that professional level he's going to play at above a league two like a league two at least i believe oh no appear oh he scores it's four three interesting so i don't think it matters if i go attacking or go defensive i concede anyway so I might as well go attacking to try and score but we should hold on here with three minutes remaining and we do good game good sup boys Really good win. Tom Tolley was insane. He had a hand in every goal. That was really special. We beat the team that's first. That's a really good effort. And we're pushing up now. And we do have games in hand to team around that zone. So we can still push for promotion. It's really early in the season still. Especially if we can get a win against Sutton. It'll uh, put us in a good chance. But definitely, I've worked on the attacking for quite some time. What I've been doing is working on attacking and attacking movement. But I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't change that because that's what's doing well for me. It's just I'm not really focusing on other areas. That could be the problem. But I've been doing pretty well. But you can notice I'm conceding a bit goals now. That's It's evident. So I might want to work on defending now. And, hmm. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to work on teamwork. I haven't done that. What does it work? What does it say here? Um, the understanding on the pitch. I reckon that's better because... We've given away passes a lot of the time. I think working on teamwork, it may improve that, I think. It may improve that, the team's understanding of each other. That's something I've never really worked on a lot in this save uh, with Bath, so we'll see how it goes. And now, of course, is the FA Trophy. Uh, this is, I reckon, we should push to try and win this, actually, because we did well in the FA Cup. We still, we're still in it. I'm just saying against Preston in League One, it's going to be hard to win. I'll oh, just draw teams here. So, um, who are we going to get drawn against? Maidenhead. I'm sorry, but their manager, he looks weird. <laughs> what kind of face is that? He's just like, but Anyway, um, where's Maidenhead? Yeah, they're around 15th. I'm pretty sure we won against them this season already. Or I could be mistaken... Yeah, we did 1-0 at home. So hopefully we can get a similar result. Tom Tolley coming up. He is a superstar. 
and still, like I've been saying, doesn't turn 17 until March of next year. So, well, it's not too far away now, but still, like, uh, he's going to be... Like, he doesn't look that amazing to be playing this well already. I don't know. Like, he finishes a lot of chances. He's... I, I can't be more happy. Um, he shoots with distance, or from distance, but the thing, that doesn't work well together. He's only got two long shots. Should I try and prove his long shots, actually? Because right now I'm just trying to work on improving his quickness. Because with two long shots and shoot from this, he's going to be trying those shots a lot, but he's crap from distance. So should I be working on that or not? Leave in your comments. And yeah, FA Cup Preston will be the next episode, so stick around for that. You know I'm uploading these thick and fast, so it won't be too far away. Alan Ryder has been excellent for mine. You can see there, he's been really good. He's another young player, 16. He turned 17 um, in December. Not too far away now yet again, but he's been good. Scoring goals from midfield and assisting also going to be a crucial player for me as Dover get a new manager as we move on to Sutton United. And where are they sitting right now? Um, yeah, they're 18th. So we should be winning this, especially at home. And let's check out uh, Jermaine Churchill for a second. Now, his determination is good, and Reflex is 14. He's been a really good keeper. Well, actually, he's conceded a lot of goals, 21. But, yeah, uh, you, what, you can't expect too much from a 16-year-old. But look at that potential, good League 2 potential. We've got quite a few of the, not quite a few, we've got like three or four of those. So, like Tolly, and you've got the goalkeeper, a couple centre-backs as well, and then Alan Ryder. So, we've got the base there, and hopefully the next few seasons we can get wingers in that position, uh, maybe a defensive midfielder. So, yeah, we can improve in those positions, and we can have a really strong team going forward. I think we'll bring in Mark Priest here, Jones. We'll get, see, he's still not playing well, these younger players. Even if they do have good potential, it's good, especially I feel as though young defenders are the worst ones to play because they'll make mistakes more. and you, They're the guys who are supposed to save the chances. And like If you play young midfielders and whatever and you can see chances, the defender's still behind them uh, to defend well. But saying that, my other defenders, there's no one who's done exceptionally well anyway. So it's like maybe it shouldn't even matter. So Brown going to come off for a little bit of a rest. Curtis McKenzie, he might come back. Oh, Galinar's played well. Gilbert still hasn't really impressed me that much, but I've got to leave him on. He's still, like, for the whole season, he's basically going to be disappointed. If you go to information, uh, he's disappointed about the low collective win bonuses. Uh, but who's his favorite personnel? Jordan Cousins. I'm pretty sure I heard of him somewhere before, but, yeah, he's a quality player, actually. Uh, George Byers... Actually, I'm going to start him ahead of Adelsbury. Lamar Powell, I'll take off the reserve games. 90 minutes. And again, he's the guy on the non-contract. But again, for new viewers of this series, uh, he has got an appearance fee of £250. So he basically is like a pay-per-game kind of player. And if like if you compare it to another similar type, if I just, I don't know, I'll click on Curtis McKenzie in his contract. Contract info. Appearance fee is only like, 55, but he's a younger player. I'll, 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 I'll compare it to someone who was already at the team. Well, basically offer different contracts. Uh, Dan Ball, he might be a good explanation. His appearance fee is only £60, so you can kind of see he's getting yeah paid when he actually plays games for me. So anyway, we'll go back here. Lamar Powell, I reckon, hmm, should he start? Like, hmm, he can get assists. What's he working on in training anyway? His pace, quickness, yeah. Is that something he needs to... He's not outstanding, though. That's what I mean. We definitely need more wingers. Jake Thompson. Now, I'll play Jake Thompson instead of him. As Jake Thompson... Still, he's still looking for match fitness, though. So, bring him on wing. See how he goes, I reckon. Jacob Cleaver. You have to start. Tolly, he's on superb morale. He could absolutely bang in the goals now. Just go bang <laughs> uh, with the goals. And Williams is averaging over seven. Really good last year. He was a far cry from that. Uh, but anyway, I'll leave it at that for now because there's not much more I can change. Would be great to get another win here. We could push into the top six, uh, depending on other results, of course. But we'll go passionately and let's give the fans a performance they're expecting of us here. I'm still, yeah, I'm still messing around with uh, team talks as well to find the best reactions. But I reckon we should be winning this game. 
regardless. They're 18th and we're playing at home. And we're on great form. Tolly, ball, Byers, play it in. Here we go, Tolly, should score it? No. Ooh. We're only less than a minute into game, or into the game, and we're creating some good chances. Byers, Williams, Tolly, oh. Another chance created. We're playing well. That's a throw in. Yeah, I'm still disappointed with Gilbert. Like, for mine, like, signing him, I thought he would be one of the more important players in the team, but he's not really playing that way in my view. Oh, we're disappointed not to score in the first half. I'll just say, keep going out there and you can still win this one. I see. I reckon that's a better team talk for younger players than just saying you're not playing well. Just say you can believe they can do it. Because we've got heaps of young players here. Someone's injured. Oh, it's Ryder. I think we'll bring on... What's his name? Anthony Jack. He'll be a good replacement, I reckon. Tolly hasn't had the best of games. We'll bring on Jacob Cleaver with his pace. And that's what I mean. You can't expect players to be consistent. Like Young, like young players are never consistent in their game. Who are we going to bring on here? Let's bring on Adelsbury. You know, he can score. Come on, Jack. You have the ability to do this. Uh, Cleaver as well. You have the ability. And Adelsbury, I'm looking for him to make the difference. You know he can, definitely. Now, let's see if they can do it. Oh, here we go, right away. Thompson, pass it in. Williams, good cross. Oh, dangerous cross. This time, uh, Thompson... Nah. We're not attacking, yeah? Yeah, we're not attacking. Oh, no. They've got a chance. No. No. <sighs> Have to go overload. I hate that, honestly. Uh, the goalkeeper, a young goalkeeper, made a really good save straight at him and couldn't. he just gets on the rebound. Come on. No. I get so frustrated on these kind of games. Good save, but we played poor late. And yep, they get another goal like that. How much minutes gone? Yeah, seven. Nah, I want to do another game. I don't. I don't. Not, I'm not really liking this. Oh, this game should have been so different. This will, yeah, this is like the difference between, like the team who's going to come first is not going to lose these games, or not lose many anyway. And they could score three here, and they almost do. Oh, disappointing. But Sutton played well. You've got to give credit to them, and yeah, we say we're not good enough here. Oh, disappointing. We could have pushed towards the top six. But yeah, I'm just going to play the FA Cup game. Oh, but We're not going to win it anyway. It's still going to be disappointment. I'm just going to say no comment. Leave to physio. Oh, he's injured for two months. Come on. Yeah, I might as well... I'll get like the bad games out of it because I'm being realistic here. FA Cup against a League One team, we're not going to win it. If I'm being realistic. Unless they don't try and win it. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Unless, yeah, something special happens. Unless something special happens. And you can see here, Preston fans are expecting a comfortable win. So that's really expected. And we're not expecting to get anything from the game. Who knows? Uh, maybe we could if something goes our way. Uh, impressive performances. Uh, finally, we're getting some, actually. Um, Aaron Brown is uh, going up for a 34-year-old. That is impressive stuff. But Brian Dutton as well, another experience. He's going, yeah, some up and some down. He's a guy who's going to have to play his best. Like, all those players, those experienced players, they're going to have to have the game of their lives. They're going to have to lift up for the younger players. And the young, yeah, the young players might play on confidence or something. Especially, like, the guys like Gilbert. He needs to have a good game. He needs to. 
So again, here, uh, they haven't forgotten about the successes of last season, so that's going to... It says they still play a small part in re reviewing... It should play more than a small, don't you think? I don't know, but... Uh, Ryder's is injured, but we'll bring on Jack, who was a good assist player last season for us, so it's good for him to come in. Lamar Powell will make the bench at the very least. Oh, the defense, deciding who's going to be the defenders is such a big decision. Thompson will come off. We'll play Ross Stern. We need someone with some ability, not like Lamar Powell, who has no really high attributes. We need a guy who can do something, like Ross Stern, who has 13 dribbling and 14 flair, and he's got some teamwork. So at least he has a chance of doing something. Um, yeah, Ryder's injured, can't play him. I think with Jake Thompson, I'll just take him off for 90 minutes. Um, Curtis McKenzie. No, I'm just going to leave Gallinard and Priest. They probably got our best ratings, but still I'll bring on McKenzie just on the bench and... Um, Aaron Brown, I think. Yeah, for Ball, who probably will need to be subbed. But we need something special here. Who knows? Yeah, they're going attacking as well. Who knows what may happen? Yeah, they're easily favourites. We just got to try and play our own game. Tolly maybe need a huge game for him. So it says nobody fancies us to win, but with a bit of encouragement, we can pull off an upset here. Okay. Um, I'll just say there's no pressure. Okay. You're scared that because sometimes that gets a bad reaction, uh, but here it gets a good reaction. So there's no pressure on us. If they play without pressure, if they somehow can, we could have a slight chance. Jack's on. Oh! Oh. Do it. Of course, it's disallowed. That's disappointing. Addersbury this time. What an impressive start. We deserve a goal. And we get it. It better not be disallowed. Yes, and now that's a better, that's like a actual good clap. <laughs> uh, well, but yeah, um, going back to that point, what do I do here? Stay on attacking or go... See, when I go defensive, let's just try it. Go contain. We've got the lead. We might as well try. Yeah, it's on pending. But I have a feeling they will score. Come on, try and hold on. Even get a draw. If they, like, score once. And then we can at least get a home fixture against them. Then get their gate receipts. Come on, defend. Yep, hold it on, Churchill. Well done. If we can go into halftime winning, it would be great. Don't give it away like that. No. Oh, good save, Churchill. Look, and even on that point there, it's such a great experience for young players here. It's good. Like, if we can go in halftime winning, it'll frustrate them. Definitely. Especially at home. They're not playing well. Their fans will get frustrated as well. Losing to a uh, non-league team. Free kick. Come on, red. Give them a red. Ooh, Wiseman gets a yellow. That means there will be a chance created, I think. Come on, Asbury. No. Ooh, lucky. Jack, play it through. Oh, we probably deserve more goals. We at least deserve to be winning. They've only had one chance, I think, and we've had a couple and a disallowed goal. So, yeah, we're doing well. We have another chance here. Williams. Ah, he just had a shot. So we're going to be winning at half time. That's good. Come on. Let's say passionately. Um, I'm happy with the performance. Wow. We're winning. 
this is great stuff. Even if we don't win it. Oh, here's a corner. Defend it somehow. They couldn't. Bailey Wright. Uh, he's a trial player. But anyway, that was, that was always going to happen. So let's go back to attack. Got to try and win it. I got to go with what's worked well for me. We'll probably lose it, but what can we do? Good save, Churchill. Got to make subs that are right. Oh, damn ball's injured. Uh, we'll bring on Aaron Brown. Um, Adelsbury's had a good game. I'll leave him on. Actually, I'll move him to attacking position. Try and get a shot or something. Try and get him in dangerous positions to score. Uh, we'll bring on George Byers. Like, he's got decent attributes. Sort of. He's a young player with potential. I'll just do two subs, of course. Tolly hasn't had a good... Ooh. Don't know what to do there. Aaron Brown, have faith in him. And Byers, uh, no pressure. Oh. I just did it. <laughs> anyway. There you go. We'll try and team talk again. Let's try something different. I want to see more from you today. And Byers, pressure is off. Get the same reaction. Oh, highlight right away. Oh, no. Not for them. No. Please. They got a goal when we got an injury. No surprises there. See, so, yep. Yeah. We don't deserve to lose it. Come on. Come on, Cleaver. Do something with your pace. I don't know. I'll just say I have faith in him. Uh, it will be disappointing just to lose, but oh, will they score again after I make a change? No. Or could we? Nah. And they're going to counter. Brown, win it. Come on. Nah, don't score. That's rubbish. Not even a goal with skill. Overload. Do something. Yeah, we're not going to do it. This needs to be a goal. Nah, given away. Oh, come on. We just don't have the quality. The quality is not good enough of our players. And with a bit of luck going against us as well with disallowed goals and they just get like a like scrambly goal in the box from a corner. It is very disappointing to lose that way. Uh, aggressive. I'm far from pleased. We had the win. I know I can't be expecting to win that, but I'm just frustrated. Do we get even any money? We should get money for that performance. We're winning at half time. And Dan Ball's injured. Winning at any time deserves something, I reckon. But, yeah, it's hard. I just get frustrated. I know we shouldn't be expecting to win. People say you shouldn't expect to beat them. But we're in a position to win. That's what I mean. That's why I get frustrated. Especially with disallowed goal. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'll try and get that pass, but or maybe I'll push. Yeah, at least we didn't get dominated against. That's a positive sign. We only lost 3-1, and playing away is a bit unlucky. Uh, Yeah, at least, yeah, what I was going to say, it can help us win the FA Cup. Well, not FA Cup. This one here, FA Trophy, that was on my mind. What's the rules, anyway? Yeah, 3.75k. 
who knows what's going to be the major prize. But I reckon, yeah, I do reckon we can win it. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll play against similar level teams. And I'll do my best, uh, like we have done this year with young players. The positive is we're getting experience. That is a positive. At least with that, the FA Cup, it would have made some impact. Our finances, like, the balance has gone down to 75k. It was over 100 at times. So, yeah, I reckon I did the best in that way. I want to see what my board says as well. Uh, confidence is FA Cup. The board are delighted uh, that I reached the first round. So, that's something to be pleased in, I guess. So, hopefully you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did, and I'll see you guys next time.